GCSE Maths, how to use a table to sketch a graph in under two minutes. Let's go. This is a super, super common question in calculator papers. So let's have a look. It says, use the table to sketch the graph of y equals x squared minus one for x is greater than or equal to negative two and less than or equal to two. Now, this part here is gonna trip a lot of people up, but don't worry. All it means is we only have to draw our graph going along to negative two and across to two in the x direction. So how are we gonna do it? What we're gonna do is we're going to substitute in our different values of x given in the table to work out the corresponding value of y. This is going to give us a series of coordinates. We can plot those on and join them up. So let's get that done. Y equals x squared minus one. When x is negative two, we substitute that into our equation y is going to be equal to negative two squared, which is four because minus two times minus two is positive four, subtract one, we're going to get three. Next up, minus one squared, minus one times minus one is positive one, then take one away, one subtract one is going to be zero. Next up, zero squared is zero, take one is minus one, one squared is one, take one is zero, two squared is four, take one is three. Now guys, we have a bunch of coordinates which we can plot on. When x is equal to minus two, y is equal to three. So let's go across to minus two and up to three. Next up, when x is equal to minus one, y is equal to zero. Let's go across to minus one and to zero. Next up, when x is zero, y is minus one. We're gonna have zero minus one. Next up, one, zero, let's plot that on. And two, three, let's plot that on. Excuse me for not writing on those values over there. It's just one box is one unit. I didn't wanna get it too crowded. Okay, what are we gonna do now? Our final step is going to be to connect those points like so. Oh, little bit shaky there. Make sure you draw a smooth curve, but hopefully that makes sense. 